Not the breakfast I thought I'd be eating this morning. Not where I thought I'd be either. After loading the boat, I realized that while dragging the boat over one of those giant logs, the boat was compromised. Pretty big gash in the bottom. I'm gonna put it up on the sawhorses and repair it well, instead of just slapping tape on it and saying, let's keep going. Get the boat back up in running order, get dropped to the boat ramp very early tomorrow morning, and I'll be exactly where I was planning to be, if not a little ahead of schedule. And it only cuts out about 30 miles from the overall trip. It's really not a big loss. So I'm gonna enjoy my breakfast. I'm actually gonna set up my satellite tracker <laughs> so people could follow me and track me and and I can send emergency messages. That's also a cool thing. So I've got my Garmin inReach being set up right now. Yes. <laughs> All right, old pinky. <laughs> We're pretty scraped up. I When I looked at it, I wouldn't be worried Obviously anything cosmetic, just taking off the paint, that's a, that's a relatively easy fix for me later on. As with my own body, I only worry about the body of my boat when it isn't cosmetic. I mean, my legs from yesterday are scratched up very badly as well. It's merely cosmetic, but if it breaks through, <laughs> like this particular, you can see the carbon fiber uh, fissure there, I know exactly when that happened. It was a, it was a rock that, that was just below the surface and you can't see it until it's too late. This right here is bad enough. If I'm gonna fix that one, I might as well fix this one while I'm at it. I have an existing hole. That is a big mamma jamma. Um, that again, while I'm here, might as well. But yeah, she's uh, sanded smooth on the bottom now. I got that dolphin finish unintentionally. What I'm really happy to find and report is the rudder, although caked in mud from the takeout and worn down probably a quarter of an inch is completely uncompromised. There's no structural damage through and around. Actually with as heavy as I am, the, the rudder doesn't pull hardly any draft more than the boat itself. It's so crazy. Can you see how it's shiny here and not shiny here, but God, there is just, whoo, this boat. Yeah, that's not through, that's just cosmetic. I mean, it's it's a gash, but it is cosmetic. So I'm not gonna waste my time filling anything cosmetically in because, because I'll do that when I get back. When I get back, I'm gonna give Endless Summer 2, that's my boat's name. I don't know if you noticed the colors. I'm gonna give Endless Summer 2 the biggest spa day of her life. I didn't spa day Endless Summer 2 after Jen took it for the Alabama 650, but between the two of us, she's earned, uh, she's earned a day of special treatment. I think this should be a rental boat. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna patch my holes in my boat real quick. I mixed up some two-part um, well, it's two to one resin and hardener. I save old plastic wrap and stuff when things come in plastic. I, I try to avoid plastic at all costs, but it's really useful for quick fixes like this because I don't want to spend all day like sanding and making everything nice and smooth. It's six gashes that I want to patch. So I'm gonna cut six little pieces of plastic. I have already sanded down the wounds, if you will. So it is down uh, to fresh carbon fiber. So we got that one there, that one there. This is the big one, the little one there. Little one up there, so yeah, and then one on the side. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my epoxy. The 
coffee on the blob. The wind doesn't blow it away. So, what I'm accomplishing with the plastic is I'm able to flatten out the epoxy so I don't have to give it a good sanding. So it'll cure flat, the plastic will peel right off, and this will get me through the trip, and uh, I will make it nice when I get home. why not you know like all the little scratches I had so much epoxy <laughs> Shit. might as well that's not pretty um but it's pretty functional like I said I will um I'll fix this when I get home <laughs> 